Okay, guys, so getting ready to do this digital dash. So I'm gonna take, this is the stock one, don't mind the pollen. Man, it is so bad around here lately. Anyway, this will be the new one that we're putting on. And uh, I've already prepped the bike a little bit, as you can tell. You take the seat off, take your gas tank off. Your side plastics, that's that's basically all I've done here so far. So um, we'll get started. We'll, this has got to come off next, so it's just three bolts underneath. So let's do that first. So actually, let's go ahead and get our speedo cable out of the way here. Just unscrews. Pulls out. Working outside on my porch today, so sorry for the if there's any road noise or cars going by. I don't get a lot of traffic on this road, but okay. So you got your speedo cable off. These three nuts. Now we're gonna disconnect the harness. This one right here. It's uh, I think a nine pin. Not that it really matters, but it'll match right up with the new with the new gauge. So these can be a little bit tricky if you're not careful. You don't want to break them. There we go. So now should lift right off like that bingo look at all the pollen all right so we got our gauge off we got our uh, speedo cable is disconnected so now we're gonna take the front tire off so that we can get our um this is a mechanical wheel speed sensor we need to get off get that off from there and we're gonna put on the digital one that the new speedo came with so that's what we're gonna do next here so it's 17 millimeter on this side, and it's gonna be 14 millimeter on this side. You can see I used some Loctite on this the last time, so we'll do the same thing again when we reinstall it. There, just like that. All right, so here is the new digital speedo that comes with the uh, speedometer kit, um, which I got on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Of course, it's an affiliate link, so it does help out the channel at no additional cost to you, so we appreciate that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on this. Pack it back in those bearings a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Put this back on. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, next step is uh, mount this baby on there. It should go right where the old one did just like that so on these i think uh you know when you first assemble the bike from the factory you use a flat washer and a nut i added this little lock washer in there to uh try and keep it from backing out on me i keep dropping everything oh good we'll just throw it all on the ground All right, now we can hook some of this up how we want. So this is the Speedo cable. And then this is our nine pin harness, which goes over here. So let's go ahead and route some of this a little better. I think we'll keep it behind the throttle cable. Okay, now this wire, this really long one you have here, this wasn't on the stock one, obviously. This is gonna go back, um, and these hook up for your gear selector and tachometer. So let's, uh, let's get these routed back and uh, I'll show you exactly how that works. All right, that says to use zip ties, but um, I mean, it's not really all that necessary if you come through this loop that this one wire loom already comes through and then 
you have this steel band here and one here, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. So I think that's pretty sufficient. And this is the spot we're after right here. Alright, so this is pretty simple. Um, they, give you, uh, they give you the color coding in the um, instructions. Alright, so this is the one that we're after. So you can see right now, hopefully you can see, um, there's only one pin in there. And I believe that that is your neutral indicator. Um, I don't know that for sure because it doesn't say anywhere, but that makes the most sense to me. So anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to add these in here. So, here we go. Um, so first gear indicator is the pink wire. So, find our pink wire here. And then we're going to look on the receiving end to see where the pink wire is. So it's on the top center. So, right here. And all you do is push it in, and it should click, and there you go. And then we're just going to repeat that for uh, each of the colors, you know, match them up to how they go into this plug, push them in until they click. Just like that. Nothing to it, man. And then you plug it back together. And that should be our first through fifth gear indicators. Oh, you know what? Should have gone through this. That was kind of stupid. There. All right, so make sure you go through this thing because I just forgot to do that and had to pull this apart. And fix it. So the purple wire is for sixth gear, which we don't have a sixth gear, so that's not going to get used. This blue and white wire here is for our tachometer which goes with this blue and white wire. Now, this one you can't clip in um, because obviously this hole is already being used. Um, so no matter which side you go with, so you kind of just have to get it in there um, as best you can and then <clears throat> secure it so that it can't come back out. There, so you can force it past the other spade like that okay and then we'll just I'll take a cable tie and we'll zip tie that all together so it can't go anywhere I'm gonna zip tie this to this harness because that's where it belongs all right that's it I mean it's really not that hard um, as long as you know where to put the wires and you take your time and you know don't forget to put it through here like I did and you can Put it all back inside of here. All right, guys, all there is left to do now is put everything back together. Um, secure everything, you know, get all your wiring back where it belongs and uh, get your headlight back on, seat, gas tank, all that stuff, and then we'll uh, turn this on and see what it looks like. All right, let's turn this baby on for the very first time. Ooh, look at that, fancy. Oh, look, it tells me I'm out of gas. Maybe because my gas tank's not even hooked up. <laughs> All right. Well, cool. Okay, it's backlit. That's cool. All right. So I guess I'll have to um, wait and try it out when I get going. Okay, it works. It's in kilometers right now, so I need to get the directions and see how to fix that. Hmm. I feel like you hold this button down. Yep, yeah, there we go. Now it's in miles per hour. Brutiful. Nice. All right, well, I'll actually give it a test and I'll get everything buttoned back up, put the tank on and all that, and we'll, uh, we'll go for a ride. Later. All right, guys, so uh, got the digital dash on and we're gonna check it out and see how accurate it is. One thing already, I like having the tachometer. Gear selector is kind of cool, I guess. I mean, I don't really care that much about it, but it's a nice little feature added to it, and it's not that hard to hook up. It says 44 
on the digital dash and I've got 41 and the 40 40 41 well, I dropped a little but anyway so it seems to be about three or four miles per hour off uh, based on my GPS app on my phone so I mean that's better than the stock one which I've heard some people say is comically far off you know some of them are six seven eight miles an hour off so uh, I'll take three yes yeah, it's 37 digital speedo says 40 41 38 so we're within a few I can live with that There we go, that poked the fuel gauge up. So yeah, that's good. So the speed limit's 40. Digital dash says I'm doing 43. GPS said 39. Oh, stay right there. Jesus. Sun's behind me, so that guy probably didn't see me at all. I had a feeling he was gonna creep out. Yeah, this thing wants a sixth gear. But uh, I got some sprockets I'm going to change out. I think that'll help. Woo! Windy. I'm going to be looking off to the side, man. That wind catch my helmet. All right, sweet. 11.6, 12. Fuel gauge is working. I like it.